The film starts in a small, hilly area called Ant Island, where a colony of ants is harvesting grain, and they are led by their queen and her daughter, Princess Ada. Every season, the ants are expected to harvest some food for a greedy gang of grasshoppers to feed them. Princess Ada is worried about leading the colony, and at the same time how to supply the expected hoard, while her little sister Dot is worried about not being able to fly. There is also an ant called Flick, who has invented a new idea of harvesting grain, hoping to help them increase production. But they brush him off and ask him to pick up grain like the other workers. However, Princess Dot really likes his inventions. Flick wonders if he will ever make a difference with his inventions that don't work while Dot shares the same feeling since she is too small to fly. Flick then encourages her with a metaphor of a seed growing into a tree, meaning that she might not feel like she can do much, but that's because she is not yet mature and has to be patient. Suddenly, the horns are blown, indicating the arrival of the locusts, and all the ants start to panic. The queen asks the ants to take the food to the offering stone, and later they all head into the ant hill. However, Flick is late, and he leaves his machine on the offering stone, which accidentally knocks over the pile of food into a stream. The grasshoppers arrive to find there is no food, and they break inside the anthill. Their leader, Hopper, is very angry and threatens to feed them to the grasshoppers if they don't prepare his food by the end of the season. The grasshoppers leave, but they promise to be back the next season. Flick is brought before the ants' royal council for causing the disaster, and he suggests they find bigger bugs to help them fight the grasshoppers. Flick offers to go himself to find help in the city, and though it's a dangerous mission for them, they allow him to leave just to get rid of him so he can't mess up their next harvest. Later that day, Flick bids farewell to the ants and sets on his journey, and he hears them shouting for joy once he leaves. He is escorted by some kids who think he won't last long out there, but young Princess Dot believes in and encourages him. Flick then uses a dandelion flower to cross over the big river, leaving the kids behind and Princess Dot wishing him all the best. Elsewhere in Insect City, a group of circus bugs are having a disastrous performance with the flies in attendance booing them, and the performers are fired. Flick later arrives at Insect City and walks into a pub, where the fired circus troupe are drowning their sorrow after losing their job. Suddenly, the flies from the circus audience get into the bar and challenge the bugs to a fight, and they perform the Robin Hood act, but it fails when they are scared by the flies into a can. However, Flick thinks they are just the tough bugs he was looking for, and he asks them to help his colony against the grasshopper gang. The bugs think that Flick is scouting for talent, and they hastily accept his order to escape the flies. Flick then takes them to Ant Island, and Dot is too excited to see his friend back. The troop are welcomed as warriors expected to fight for the community, but the troop thinks it will be a performance and Ladybug guarantees them a performance like no other. Later, the troop watches a horrifying performance from the ant children about the incoming war between their new heroes and the grasshoppers, and now the bugs realize why they were really brought there. Flick also realizes that he made a mistake, and the bugs are actually circus performers, and Princess Ada suspects that they are clowns. The troop starts to walk back home and Flick follows them, but they are attacked by a bird and run for their lives. Dot also follows them using a dandelion, and the bird knocks her down, but the ladybug saves her. The circus bugs work together to distract the bird and they also rescue Princess Dot, and all the ants applaud the team for their bravery. Later, Princess Ada apologizes for misjudging him and the brave heroes, and reveals she is also worried that the ants don't believe she can lead them and Flick can relate to the feeling. To make it up to him, Ada appoints Flick as the queen's official aide to the warrior bugs for his bravery while facing the bird. When the princess mentions that even Hopper the grasshopper leader is afraid of the birds, Flick decides that they create a bird which they can manipulate to scare away the grasshoppers. They pass the message to the princess, and she passes it to everyone and they all applaud the brilliant idea. Following this, the ants team up to create the bird, and they hoist it up into a nearby tree to await the time. Meanwhile, at the grasshopper gang's hideout, some grasshoppers think that they have enough food for them and they shouldn't risk going out for more food from the ants. At a pub, they try telling Hopper's brother, Malt, to convince Hopper to stop the raid. Malt tells his serious brother 
and when he is angry, Moult starts to shake and deny that the idea wasn't his. Hopper then flies to the pub and everyone is shocked when he announces that they will be staying there and they are all excited. However, Hopper cuts the party short by saying that it's not about the food, but keeping the ants in line, especially since they outnumber them a hundred to one. The gang is now scared of him and Hopper forces them to set out to Ant Island to collect their due. Back at Ant Island, there is a party for the bird and the circus bugs are really feeling welcomed around and are no longer willing to leave. Later, the circus ringmaster P.T. Flea arrives at the ant colony looking for its missing circus performers and he reveals to the ants that the bugs are actually his circus team. The ants are so disappointed that their defense sergeants are actually clowns and Princess Ada banishes Flick to never return. The following morning, the ants collect food for the grasshoppers, but it's too little, and they wait in dread for Hopper's gang. The grasshoppers arrive, and Hopper claims the food is too little, and he forces the ants to bring him all the food in the island. While the kids are hiding, Dot overhears the gang saying they will squish their queen once they collect all the food, and she runs out to get help. On the way, Dot's wings sprout, and she catches up with Flick's team, and she persuades them to return and put the bird plan into action. They return to the island where the circus troupe distracts the grasshoppers with a performance, while Flick and the kids climb up into the bird. Sergeant Manny and Gypsy then put on a magic act to sneak the queen away from Hopper. The bird then launches out from the tree with Flick and some ants controlling it from inside, and the ants pretend to run around in a panic and the grasshoppers are frightened. Everything goes to plan until P.T. intervenes and sets the bird on fire to stop its terrorizing, and Hopper discovers their plan. Flick stands up saying the idea was his, and Hopper sends Thumper to beat him up as he talks down the ants. Flick again stands up and says the ants don't serve the grasshoppers, but they instead need the ants, and this enrages Hopper. He is about to squish Flick, but Princess Ada stands up for him, and the other ants now give him angry stares. The entire colony swarms against the gang, forcing them all to leave and they shove Hopper into a circus cannon to shoot him away. However, the rains arrive, forcing the ants to retreat into the anthill, and Hopper grabs Flick and flies off. Ada rescues Flick and the two lure Hopper towards the bird's nest, or Hopper corners Flick, saying he'll return with more grasshoppers next season. Thankfully, the bird appears and picks up Hopper, and feeds him to her baby chicks, and Flick is free. Following this, the next spring is all joyful in Ant Island. The ants have adopted Flick's harvester to speed up grain collection, while the kids are struggling to keep up with Princess Dot, who now flies. Later, P.T. Flea prepares to leave with the circus team, and he adopts some talented ants, and a locust called Tiny, who is super excited to join other creative folks. The ants bid farewell to the circus team and they all celebrate Flick for his heroics and he chooses to remain with his family. Ada becomes the new queen and passes the princess crown to Dot and she also chooses Flick as her mate. The ants give a firework of grains to thank the leaving circus bugs as they all wave goodbye to their friends and the exciting film comes to an end. Thanks a lot for watching guys. If you like this video please consider subscribing to our channel. I'll be back with another interesting movie recap. Until then, take care.